Oh, hello there. Yes, morning. Friday at last. Although it's only very early January. It's quite odd. Um, just a few words this morning about Prince Harry, uh, who once again is dominating the headlines and um, appears to uh, be uh, launching us into something of a very, 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 very minor constitutional crisis. Um, on a wider level, I mean, I mean, apart from the fact that Prince Harry is the gift that keeps on giving to columnists and writers, yeah? Why bother thinking about anything when you can simply slag off anything that he's done in the last five minutes? Anyway, um, it comes to a fundamental problem in and around the very nature of the monarchy. The very nature of the monarchy means that you get what you're given, all right? We had the Queen, and yes, she was a good one, but now we've got King Charles. We have to get what we're given, the divine right of kings. And, you know, whether we like him or not, he's stuck there. Now, this presents a problem for the establishment, because they then have to defend this new king, come what may. It wasn't always the way. I mean, various people like Fortakes Dan Wooten or Darren Grimes in the past felt fine, before he became king, to slag him off. It's probably one of the reasons why Darren Grimes is no longer with GB News, is because of this particular tweet. But you get what you're given. And one of the other things we are, will be given, for example, will be Prince William. So consequently, we have an establishment that is very heavily invested on making sure that the monarchy as an institution is protected no matter what. So therefore, this becomes a constitutional crisis, in inverted commas, of their own making. Because they have to defend William, no matter what. We know nothing about the man, do we? Nothing at all other than his siblings and his mum. And don't forget, we have realistically been here in the past. Lady Di was told to basically shut up because she was rocking the boat. The establishment don't like that. And when she died, the reactions of the royal family, being seen as callous as they were, caused a major problem, which took years and years of very heavy PR to cover up. You aren't allowed to criticise the institution of the monarchy. It's fine to criticise Prince Harry because he is no longer realistically a prince. But everything else must be protected at all costs. And one has to ask oneself, why? Isn't it about time that we kind of relegated our royals to a kind of wallpaper role? In real terms, I mean. None of this £100 million for a coronation business, but actually had what the other European countries managed to do, like the Netherlands and other places, in the sense that there is a royal family and they're all jolly nice and everyone ignores everything about them because it's just the way it is. Might be an idea, but of course Britain is incapable of dealing with those kind of issues. It's incapable of even discussing any form of republicanism. Yeah, you'd be a traitor to even mention such things. Hmm, I think I've just shot myself in the foot there. Anyway, have a lovely, lovely, lovely Friday. Enjoy. <laughs>